So this lesson, I am going to show you how to extract the square root in a quadratic equation. Okay, but first let's have here our rule that we need to follow. So ang tawag dito ay the square root principle. Okay, ang sabi dyan sa square root principle, kapag ka daw, ang, x, ang given natin na x squared is equal daw sa a, and yung a mo naman, ay greater than or equal to 0. So, ibig sabihin, more than 1 yan, and then, pwede si 0. Then, yung x mo ngayon, okay, yung magiging sagot mo, ay pwedeng positive or negative square root of a. Okay? So, so ganito yung magiging format ng magiging answer mo. So, for example, I have here the given x squared is equal to 25. So, to find the value of x here, I will follow this simple rule that we have. Then, if our a is greater than uh, or equal to, to 0, then, ang magiging isagot natin ay x is equal to positive or negative square root of a. Our a here is 25. Then, we can simply simplify this one. Then, square root of 25 is positive or negative 5. And that will be our final answer. Okay? So, ang ibig sabihin ng positive or negative 5 dyan, dalawa daw yung magiging uh, posibleng sagot mo. It can be positive 5 or negative 5. Okay? So, yan ang kalalabasan ng mga x value natin. Okay? So, if you want to check this one, no? You can just simply uh, sim substitute 5 dito sa equation na to. For example lang naman, if our x is 5, then yung magiging x dito, papalitan ng 5. So, 5 squared equals 25. 5 squared is 25. And yes, that is equal to 25. Okay, so that is our first example. For our example number 2, so we have m squared plus 3 is equal to 51. Okay, so the first thing na kailangan kong gawin dyan, I, I have to eliminate this uh, number, okay, yung positive 3. To eliminate that, ang gagawin ko, I'll subtract both sides by negative 3. Okay, so... Ang matitira na lang dito sa kaliwa ay m squared. Okay, dahil makakancel natin yan. Then dito, 51 less 3, that is 48. Okay? So, next, kailangan ko mahanap lang. By the use of square root principle, so since our a here is 48, and 48 is greater than... Uh, greater than 0 eh, we have here m is equal to positive or negative square root of 48 ok so we are not done yet kasi pag pwede pa tong simplify so simplify natin yan so dito kapag sinimplify pa natin so we have m plus or minus square root of so, you will find two factors of 48. So, anap tayo ng tulong factors na 48 na may perfect uh, number. Okay, so, I think yung dalawang factor ng 48 na may perfect number pwedeng si 16 at si 3. Okay, so ito yung perfect number natin. So, pwede natin isulat dito, 16 multiplied by 3. Okay. So, that is also equal to 48. So, that is the factor of the radicand. Okay, the next one is as we go through, so, can, we can write this uh, radical form as 
square root of 16. Okay, paghihiwalayin ko sila ng bahay. Square root of 3. Okay, kapag sinimplify ko na yan, meron tayong plus or minus 4, then square root of 3. And that is our final solution here. Okay, so to find out the two solutions, so meron tayo ditong M, yung positive number, so which is 4 square root of 3. At meron din tayong m is equal to negative 4 square root of 3. So, these are our final answer here. Okay, for this example number 2. For our third example, so we have here 4x squared minus 9 equals 71. Okay, so first thing first, I have to eliminate this number the negative 9, to eliminate that, I will add both sides by 9, okay? So, and then, I cancel this number. Then, meron tayo ditong matitirang 4x squared equals to uh, 71 plus 9 is 80. Okay? To simplify this equation, since ang inahanap lang natin dyan ay yung x value, kailangan natin matanggal tong 4. Okay, so to remove that, so may, we have to divide both sides by 4. Then we have x squared equals 80 divided by 4, that is 20. Okay, now in this given, we have to apply the square root principle. Since our a here is 20 and that is greater than 0, and then we can use the square root principle. Then we have plus or minus square root of 20. Now, if we want to simplify this one, we have to find the factor of 20. So, the factor of this number na merong perfect number. So, which is meron tayong 4 and 5. Because 4 is perfect number. Okay, so ngayon as we go through... So, meron tayong plus or minus, then 4 times 5, okay? Now, pag ko sila ngayon ng bahay, so meron tayo ditong radical 4, then multiplied by radical 5. Okay, then I simplify this number, so we have x is equal to plus or minus square root of 4 that is 2 square root of 5 okay and this is the final answer okay so once again our solute our solution set is negative uh, positive 2 square root of 5 and negative 2 square root of 5 So that is our first, our third example. What if our given here is 5x minus 3 squared equals a negative 32? Okay, as you can see, our a here is a negative number. Okay, so the question is, can we use, can we still use the square root principle in this given equation? So the answer is yes. Okay, pero, so what will happen if ginamit natin sa square root principle dito? What will be the outcome or the value of our x tier? Okay, so tignan natin, no? So kapag ginamit ko si square root, square root principle dito, so meron akong 5x, ito yung matitira sa left side, minus 3. Mariremove na yan, and then dito naman sa right side, ang magiging numbers natin ay positive plus or minus square root of negative 32. Okay. So, now to find the value of our x tier, I have to add both sides by 3. So, we have 5x. Okay. 
equals plus or minus square root of negative 32 plus 3. Okay. Now, our goal here is to find the x. So, I have to eliminate this 5. So, meron tayo dito. x is equal to 5 or plus or minus square root of negative 32. So, ayusin natin yung square root. Negative 32 plus 3 all over 5. Okay. So, ngayon, Tignan natin ngayon yung numbers dun sa loob ng bahay, no? sa loob ng radical symbol. So, dito sa radical symbol natin, meron tayong negative 32. Alamin natin ngayon kung meron bang factor si negative 32 na may perfect number. Okay, yung, yung, I think yung malaking factor ni negative 32 na may perfect number is 16 and 2. And negative 2. Okay, so dito pwede natin isulat na plus or minus. Okay, lagyan ko lang muna ng denominator dito. Square root of uh, 16 times negative 2. Okay, so, and then dito sa labas ng radikan, meron tayong plus 3. Okay, now, if we simplify this number, so meron tayong square root of 16, that is 4, and then yung square root naman ni negative 2 is square root of negative 2 pa rin. Okay, then dito meron tayong plus 3 then over 5 naman sa denominator. Okay, so now since we already find the simplest form of this solution, then this will be our final answer. Okay, so what can we see here? No, doon sa mga previous example natin, no, nakuha natin is yung real number. Pero dito sa sa nangyari, sa nangyari dito sa given natin, since our a is uh, less than uh, 0 or yung, mga, yung a natin is negative number, then yung naging x naman natin dito is naging uh, nagkaroon tayo ng imaginary number. Okay? So, ganito yung nangyayari kapag ka nag-extract tayo ng square root. For us to solve any any equation in quadratic na may ganitong format, so, ang unang bagay na kailangan nating malaman kapag yung a and b ay real numbers and our a here is not equal to zero, then ang una nating gagawin is um, we have to isolate the a. Okay, kailangan natin tanggalin yung a dito. So, mga cancel yan. Then, ang matitira ay x squared equals b over a. Okay, then we will apply the square root principle. Then, we have plus or minus square root of the quotient of b over a. Okay, so, yun lang yung kailangan natin gawin para masugatan natin itong mga equation. May ganitong format. Okay, so... Thank you for listening. Good day and God bless.